Don't you guys hate it? My fellow YouTubers. When you think you hit record and you go on for like five minutes and then you're looking at the camera and you're like, wait, nothing's happening. And you realize you didn't hit record. That just happened to me. Oh, well, we are going to start again. Whatever I said in that last video must have just not been meant to put out in the world. Anyways, so this video, I'm very excited about making, even if it was the second time that I started it. Um, because if you guys remember a couple years ago, if you guys have been following me that long, there's a video that my son and I did together and he was like so little. It's like, he's like the cutest little thing. And I have him run through the house and gather all of the pens that he could find. And we challenged ourselves to use up the pens in the house. And it went great for about three months. And I know some of you had asked me about it and it totally like slipped my mind to even return to the topic. But now, now that I'm kind of on my very own book buying, not book buying ban. Um, yeah, I still buy books, but stationary buying ban. I thought this would be a great time to kind of do something similar. So I actually went through my house and collected as many pens as I could find that were just laying around. And I had them, I have them everywhere. I still, I know that I, I have not checked my purse and I probably have like seven in my purse. Um, I know upstairs in my desk, I have probably two or three, but I like those being there um, for when I'm in those spots. But look at all these. So here's what I'm committing to. I'm committing for the rest of 2019 to not purchase any more pens. And I do have fountain pens that I do refill with ink, but I'm thinking I'm even gonna let them have a break and try to get through this bag. Now this bag is full of a variety of things. So I'm just gonna grab a handful, just kind of show you what's in here. Obviously, I have Pentel Energel pens because those are my favorite. <laughs> There's two in that one handful. Um, this is a Uniball Signo DX, Papermate Inkjoy, another DX, <laughs> a highlighter, a mild liner, Copic marker. I love this. This is the Uniball Air Micros. These are the bomb. Um, they still don't beat the Energel. I just can't beat the Energel. This is a Coletto pen, which one of these is actually already out of ink. Um, yeah, I have Sarasa Vintage Clips, more Energels, Paper Mates, Dollar Store pens. I have like a ton of things. I have a Sarasa Grand. Love the way this pen feels. Oh wait, that's not a Sarasa Grand. That's the Energel. I don't remember what that's called. I do have a Sarasa Grand, I just saw it. Yeah, here we go. A Sarasa Grand, a pencil. This is another Pentel Energel. This is the bomb. I don't remember what that's called either. Um, speaking of pencils, I have this amazingness. This is the Palomino Blackwing. Okay, funny story about this. My husband um, rides motorcycles and we're part of a motorcycle group that are at my house a lot. We have a lot of gatherings and parties and such. And one of the parties, these are all like grown ass men that are, that usually come. And I pulled out this pencil and I'm such a nerd. And I don't remember how I started talking about it, but I mentioned how you would never find another pen that writes as buttery smooth as this does. And they started passing it around and like writing with it. And they were totally basically, um, yeah, like nerding over the pencil also. It was pretty amazing. And I did, the cap did not come with the pencil. The cap came on Amazon. Actually, I think I have my pack of pencils in here. Yeah, so I have the bag, okay, and then I have this thing. The reason I decided to do this video now is because I'm getting ready to leave for 
a little weekend getaway with my hubby. Surprise, surprise. Gotta keep that wild, sexy marriage um, going. And I, this is a bag that sits next to my coffee table. It's technically a camera bag. Um, for those of you that don't know, I used to be a boudoir photographer and I love this bag so much. It holds a ton, but it is huge. Okay, let me just show you. So look at this. This thing is massive, but it holds all of my like homeschool stuff, not curriculum, but planning stuff. The book I'm reading, it holds my laptop, um, my journal, journal supplies, stationery supplies. It holds everything, but it's not very good to bring because it is so huge. So I'm getting ready to bring my laptop bag because um, I have some writing I have to get done for certain projects I'm working on. And so I'm getting ready to pack that. And I was like, you know what? I should do a video because I got to pick out the pens I'm bringing with me. Anyways, I am like all over the place, but I'm just going with it. All right. The Blackwing pencils come in a box like this. Um, I purchased the box and gave one to each of my kids because the pencils are amazing. I have no idea. Oh yeah, they're in here. This came with as a box of 12. I think I got it on Amazon. They're amazing. You do have to sharpen them, but if you're like, I'm one of those homeschool moms that have like the old school pencil sharpener thingy. Because when my kids, my kids mainly use friction pens for their work, but they do love writing with these because it's literally like butter, I tell you. Okay, now, no more Palomino talk. Let's get back to the pens. So, my goal and what I'm encouraging you guys to join me in doing is to shop your own collection. What do you have laying around? Here's another thing I have actually. I have washi tape. Who else like me gets sucked in at Michael's to that like 99 cent bin full of washi? I am so guilty of like looking through and finding new washi. But I have all of these washi tapes. There's three rows of washi and then I have my fountain pen stuff here. I should probably move it because I know it's probably not good for them. They're getting all scratched up and blah, blah, blah. But um, I have three rows of washi here and I don't use washi that much. So my plan is to use and shop my own collection. I don't need to add any more washi because I rarely use them anyway. Um, anyway. Yeah, okay. When you're videoing and your phone falls because you don't have it on a tripod. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. But you guys know I don't do any editing, so we just go with it because this is real life. And yeah, where was I? Washi. I also have these that I rarely ever use, but for whatever reason, love collecting them. This is the Tim Holtz Distress Stains. They're really fun, actually, to play with, but I haven't used them. So I'm gonna get back to using these because in my composition notebooks, this is my summer. I actually have two summer journals because Italy took up almost an entire composition notebook. But you guys know that I, I basically am obsessed with watercoloring every page. So, and there's, I will do a flip for you guys because I know a lot of people are asking um, when I finish it. It'll probably be end of August. But anyways, so my plan is to use up some of these in here because I have them. I need to use them. And in addition to using up my own and shopping my own collection, I'm going to be saving what I use up and doing stationary empties. It's a new series that I'm thinking about diving into. I've done empties before. I think I did Rider Mama empties. Maybe I'll do that again because I also collected like the wine I drank and the, yeah, just fun things. But um, to keep the pens that I go through and the washi and share with you guys what I actually used up in a three month period I just think it would be fun and it would challenge me to actually finish something because it is freaking amazing when you finish a product. It just feels so good, especially when it's a pen because 
I'm a nerd like that. Anyways, so I'm inviting you guys to join me. Let me know what stationary items you currently have that one, you've forgotten about and would love to revisit, but two, that you have a ton of like this that's just laying around your house, not being used and need to use up. I would love for you to join me in this challenge. Okay, until next time, say yes to your wild, sexy life.